Installing multiple fonts at one time in Windows 10 is quick and easy. We're going to actually install over a thousand fonts all at one time. Now, of course, the basic way to install a font is to just double click your font file. It brings up a window like this. You can see a little preview of it and simply click install. That will install your font. Okay. It's installed and that throws it into our font file here in control panel. But as you can see here, we have 1600 items. That's going to be a lot of single clicking. There's a much, much quicker way of doing this, but let me go and close this down and we'll close this down so I can show you how to get to it. All right, so right here is all the fonts I want to install. You can see there's 1600 fonts. Now I got these fonts from 1001fonts.com and all the ones I downloaded are free for commercial use. Now, whenever you download these, like I've downloaded a couple here again. So after, whenever you download these, they'll come in zip files. Now, if you download hundreds or thousands of files, right clicking and extracting each file individually will take a long time. So you can use a program called 7-Zip. It's absolutely free and you'll simply just select all your font files. I'm just gonna do two here for an example. Now I don't have 7-Zip on this PC, but WinRare will do the same exact thing. So use WinRare or use 7-Zip and you can extract multiple files at the same time. I can just do extract here and that will extract all those files. So right here. Now what I did after extracting hundreds of font file uh, zip, zip files, is once I had the actual font files right here, then I would create a new folder and just call it fonts or my fonts or whatever, and then just drop all those files into that folder. So that is how we got this folder right here, full of just font files, no readmes, no, uh, PDFs, nothing like that, all font files, okay? So here we have multiple fonts. So again, we could double click to install these, so double click and then click install. But again, that's going to take a long time for 1600 files, much easier and quicker way here in Windows 10 and previous Windows versions as well. So what you want to do to install these fonts really quickly is go to control panel. Now I have control panel linked right here in my start menu. If you don't, just open up your start menu and type in control and it'll come right up. Go to control panel, up here in the search box, just type font. All right, now we can click preview, delete, or show and hide fonts or view installed fonts. It doesn't matter which one you click. That brings you over here to the control panel, all control panel items, fonts. This is where your fonts are actually installed. You can see we have 337 fonts. Or instead of coming to control panel first and then typing in font, you could conversely just go to your start menu and just type in font and then click the top result fonts control panel and that will take you to the same exact window okay so the easy way to install all of these at once will be to lasso select all of them okay but again 1600 fonts that's going to be a big lasso again much easier way just using a simple keyboard shortcut so make sure you have this window in focused make sure it's selected in other words Okay, or you can just select one item and then hit Control A on your keyboard. That selects everything. We can see down here there's 1,638 items in this folder and we have 1,638 items selected. Awesome, so once you have however many fonts you have uh, that you want to install, select them. Once they're all selected, simply grab them with your mouse, left click and drag them over into your fonts folder in the control panel, okay? You'll see a copy pop up there and then simply release your mouse and there you go, now all of your fonts are being installed. Now, if you happen to have fonts that you already have installed, say you downloaded a font that you didn't realize you had installed and you're trying to install it again, of course you can't do that. So what I would suggest is just click this box that says do this for all current items. So I already have Beauty School Dropout installed. It says, do you want to replace it? No, there's no reason to replace a font I already have. So just click no. And now we'll go ahead and continue and install all 1600 fonts. Okay, so now all of our fonts are installed. You see our folders updating to show how many fonts we have in here now. Uh, some of them were skipped. That's why it doesn't show uh, 1,638 because we already had some of them uh, that we had over here installed. So once all of your fonts are installed, if you're trying to use them in a certain program, you might have to restart that program, all right? So once they're all installed, what do you do with this folder here? Well, I would suggest that you don't just delete it. Okay, what I would do is take this folder, right-click anywhere uh, on your desktop or in whatever you know folder you happen to be in, just right click, go to new, and do a new compressed zip folder, name it whatever you will. So I'll call this commercial use fonts. 
So that way I know all of these are free to use. So I'll call it free commercial use fonts. Free commercial use fonts are great because uh, most of them, or pretty much all of them, uh, you know, you can use for like designs, uh, websites, uh, t-shirts, things like that. So after you create your zip folder, go ahead and take this folder here with all of your fonts in it and go ahead and back that up. So just throw it inside your zip folder. That'll make a copy of everything and zip it all up, compress it. And now that we have this compressed zipped folder, as you can see here, all of our fonts are right in there. Now we can delete this folder if we wish, which I'll just hit delete and we'll go ahead and get rid of it. Cool. And then take this folder and throw it onto a secondary hard drive uh, to back it up onto a different hard drive. That way, in case something ever happens to your computer and you need to reinstall all your fonts, you're not having to come back to, you know, font squirrel or 1001 fonts and re, re you know, re-download everything and reinstall everything. Uh, you'll still have to reinstall if you, you know, completely blow your computer away if you get a new system. But this way you'll have everything already contained in one folder. So go ahead and put this zipped up folder on a secondary hard drive and also throw a copy of this into your OneDrive. So that way if you're on a different computer or something happens to your backup hard drive, you can always get all of your fonts back whenever you need them. Okay, so that's a real easy way to install multiple fonts, thousands of fonts all at once on Windows 10. Make sure you're in this folder here. And then once again, after you have everything extracted from your fonts folder, okay, it needs to be extracted or at least I, I always prefer to extract everything. Just select all of them. Again, control A will select everything and then grab them and just drag and drop them in. That will install everything all at once. Real easy, quick way to install thousands of fonts at once on Windows 10.